Welcome back to Studio Chatter. Chicken noodle soup, sliced onions. There are lots of thoughts behind home remedies. What do you think? What do you think? Well, I feel like you're thinking a lot about it, Natasha. So teach us. Um, so yes, no, maybe. I, 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 we've really tried a lot this particular season just because we just, we got hit hard. So mid-December, even until now, um, we had colds, we had the flu, and, and nothing was really kind of shaking, like the, the chest cold that, was, mm -hmm. that just kept lingering. Um, so I have to tell you the one thing that we absolutely tried, and, and, and it works, is <laughs> the onion. You did try it? Oh, yeah. And, and so uh, we, you slice the onions just very thin and, okay. and just put them in your socks. And overnight. who test drove this for you? A Barrett. <laughs> I, had to, I had to bribe her. So I'd actually done it before. My mom had suggested it last winter when, when she had a chest cold. She likes the red onions better than just a traditional yellow onion. They, and yeah. is there like So onions not? are very porous. I don't know that you've ever heard that if you slice an onion, even to put it in your food, you really shouldn't save your onion after it's been chopped. Like put it in the food, use it for its purpose, and don't keep an onion. No. Because if you actually leave them in a room, like I guess even in the days of the bubonic plague or something. So if, if you had these onions exposed in a room, they will turn black because of the they pull the because toxins they pull and whatever. The, the pull, they do pull the toxins. So it's interesting when you pull these out of your socks, they will be a little discolored and you will smell like a casserole. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's not pleasant. I can't sure when I eat stinky. a lot of onion and then, then I'm just smelling like it. Right. Does it well, and linger? There's, there's definitely something, you know, the... There's a lot of people that take garlic pills, which, yeah. Yeah, yeah, which right. absolutely, I think that works too, even if they say that they're odorous or less, less odor, odorous. Odor, oh, yeah, odorless. That yeah. sounds strange to say out loud. Um, but I do, I definitely think there's something to so this. So one two, onion two nights, your um, two feet. So you can half it and okay. then just cut them really thin. I just, I would just not use socks that you ever want And that to, was for okay. a cold? For, so the, ch like chest the, the chest and the, that yuck, mucus you know that yes. kind of gets stuck there in your throat so two days and that knocks it right out oh my goodness okay, okay. so that's Good for the know. that's for the wow. deep chesty <laughs> and then um, so for sore throats, um, I love a good herbal tea. This was this is kind of the one we like just the organic throat soother okay and if you put fresh squeezed lemon I always think is better and the and honey. Like it, there really is something to that. Isn't that also. called a hottie toddy? Well, not if you don't have that. Not if you don't have the whiskey what in else there. Do you from put what in I understand. That so, <laughs> so just, just really let this steep. So it, it really, so the tea bag really, so you get all the good stuff out. And then I, I actually like to squeeze kind of the tea bag in there, even if it's in a, My in a little tea cozy. Dad made squeeze them like out. take the Nyquil. And then tip their head back, like lay down, and just like swallow it slowly down their throat. He said that it worked better that way. It may, but it maybe burns. Like that's the whole thing I can think of. Like maybe burns the mucus out or something more. I always maybe. thought that was odd. Yeah. So um, TJ Maxx or places of the like also have these lemon honey spoons. So if you have little ones that don't little love it, you know, just, oh, I don't want, you know, I don't want honey, I don't want the seed, whatever. So those are kind of fun and cute, also to make it more attractive. And then the essential oils. So I'm not I'm not a huge essential oil most of the year, but in this season I just love to have the diffuser going with all of all the good stuff. Okay, so you use a variety. Oh so What's my your favorite. So my favorite ever in the whole world is Breathe. Really? Mm -hmm. That is a good one. Yes. So I need a diffuser apparently. Oh yeah. I bought one in it. It died. So, so I, I didn't, I'm out of On Guard, but um, I have another one that's kind of the same, but it's basically to just ward off, ward off well, the I bad. Well, I went to a baseball banquet once, and we got that as a free gift with the little handheld diffusers. Mm -hmm. the so I brought guard. it home. Well, the handheld diffuser with many oils. Oh. So I brought it home and test drove them. You guys, it really does do something to you. You can't just like inhale all different flavors. I just kept oh. trying one, doing it, trying one. I got sick. Yeah. Oh. So there is something chemically, not chemically, but it is doing something to you. Yeah. Yeah. So and be I aware like the, of that. I like the eucalyptus, just a few drops in the bathtub. 
to just mm. soak in the oils in the tub and just kind of get that hot, hot steam going. I will say, since I didn't breathe, bring anything, we do have the oils, and I'm not big on them, but I've bought like the kit mm -hmm. to have on hand. Mm -hmm. Whenever I just like start to swallow, I'm like, mm. You know the, those first yes, 10 on guard. Yep. I start getting on guard, and probably like every 30 minutes, I'll just put a drop yep. on. Uh -huh. It takes it care does. of it. They also have the on guard beads. I don't know if you've I've ever. I've taken those before. Yes, I do have those too. Um, and, and that's better. And then they have the the breathe this, and I say they. I'm just speaking DoTerra in particular, but they the breathe stick. This is my favorite for the so kids. I mean, it's very compa comparable to the old Vicks, you Vicks, know. So, yeah. and I love. I just love Vicks. Okay, anyway. so this so is, I like put it up my nose, on my chest. Yes, like, my, my sister feet. all yeah, the time yes, and on her lips. Do you think there's a big difference? Because this is probably thirty, and that's probably four. So this is definitely more mild. So if you're if you so you can. You can buy like a, a an infant or a toddler version of the vapor rub, and they also do. I think you can even buy like the appliques now to put on their chest, or there's even a steamer. But this, I love, 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 can love we smell for that? the kids. Yes, okay. there's probably not even hardly any left. Just kind of just to, uh, just for their little chesty area. Chest. And and again, oh, that you just guys, brought back memories of my childhood of. Six, and then a, and then a hot cloth towel wrapped cloth around But it. there's something to putting it on their feet, too. And I don't know if it's because... Wow. Yeah, why is it? I don't know. I, but they seem to it's always do better now. when it's, when it's on their good. feet. Too. And finally, you. like, you know that you're going old school and old-fashioned when you just get the, the mustard plaster. Like, that's just when you run. <laughs> run from your mom. Run. <laughs> I didn't even <laughs> oh know Oh, my gosh, was you guys. Mustard plaster. And then I had And I had to bring, like, the ugly dirty t-shirt and rags to illustrate because i mean this is when i was a child that's like what grandma and mom would do this? like um yeah because it was yeah i mean they have to get out like the gloves and the old t-shirt and you just knew it was coming and and there's something i guess with the actual mustard when you make the little concoction the paste to put on like the more you put on like the hotter it gets or with the layers or something but it like it will pull that cold that chest cold out of you well there's something to be said so. about like the natural products oh and, yeah like, we've kind of like pulled away from yeah. them but i feel like with this essential oils and stuff we're kind of more natural. embracing oh, that more natural remedies have, we only have, yeah, like, you know, well i didn't bring very much you know, but my daughter well. mallory for a stuffy nose she does like the neti pot and instead you know. oh. yes oh, yes my nasal saline. cure yes and yes, i and it kind of freaks me out but you plug one nostril and then lean over the sink and do like the hot water and then there's a saline that you put in there and it just drains it out. Then you blow your nose slightly, and then you do the yes. other side. She swears by that. So that's just because she doesn't like to take more medication. Sinus, yeah. And this yes. one, you just use bottled water, so you don't have to heat it or anything. And it's literally like you just squeeze up it up and up and out. Wow. <laughs> and another find that we found, um, we all got a bunch of the hot tub, like whatever it is. Goo goo right. in the hot tub like a little <laughs> rash on <all over. laughs> I don't know what it was. I don't know. I'm scared though now. I don't know what how has it ever a hot gone? tub where like you Sometimes in. you can get a rash in a hot tub like really? at the bacteria or whatever, but down at the gym, not to name a name, <laughs> that they got it. And so covered with this hive and rash. And so oh. you're supposed to put like an antibiotic ointment on it, like a Neosporin or something, anti-itch cream. So I went and bought a bunch of everything. This worked the best. It took those hives down almost immediately. And it was so Calamine easy to apply. Spray. Yeah, because you could just spray it all over them instead of having to rub all over them. Do you have to rub it in after you spray No, uh-uh. We would just spray that. Is it like a bug spray? So it just kind of goes like, you know, No, it's like kind of seared through. Yeah, it's like a yeah. hairspray type thing. Okay. But okay. that was so, that was a good find. And I just bought a little of everything. So that was good. Then That's I have the VIX. Yep. Okay. Yep. Wow, okay. you guys are good. I don't have anything. <laughs> We haven't got the hot tub. I like, we've we've well, we've been accessing this like literally all in the last month. So I mean, even have the onion on hand still, but it works. It does work. Like it literally went away two days afterwards. You know what else I've awesome. loved is my mother-in-law gave me from someone that sh had made it for her, but out of the dish rags, and then they put rice in it, and it's a hot pack. Oh yeah, they heat oh. up. All I all love that because you can just wrap it however. I need to find somewhere that like sells those. How long have you had yours? Oh. A long time. And it it's starting to get dirty. Does it smell weird? A little bit now when I warm <laughs> it. I feel like it's time for a new one. So okay, I need to yeah, find I feel like one. after time I got a little funky. Yeah. Anyway, coming up next, do you know someone looking for a new job? Stay with us for some help. <laughs>